Hello everyone and welcome to Louise McKay Art. I will be picking up midstream. Here we go. I'm just going to record this. This is the same paints I just used. Only I'm going for jar lids this time. So I'm just going to point out here, when I find a good color combination, I've got jar lids all ready to go, to go ahead and paint on. So that's what I'm doing here. I'll call out the colors as we go. All right, here we go. My blue mixture. It's a little more blue this time, and actually, it looks pretty good. So this is Arteza's Pearl Sky Blue with Golden's Thalo Green and a dash of Oxide White by Golden. I actually think I would put that color up against Sea Glass. This is the White Haven. White Haven by TLP, this little piggy. This is my blue mixture. Cerulean Blue Deep. Amsterdam's bluish green, treasure gold blue quartz, sea glass, sea glass by this little piggy, gold. This is my combination of 24 karat gold and golden's iridescent gold. And Payne's gray. This is a combination of golden's and Arteza's Payne's gray. I need to make more of this color. This is just a pretty color. And I'm almost out. I don't think I even have enough for another one. Cell activator. Going with the white. Now this is using my American Flow Troll Cell Activator recipe. I will link above. I don't know if it's the bottom cup or if it's something with the lid. I don't know which way. So I'm doing this one a little differently since this jarlet is so small compared to the coasters or anything else. I'm just kind of trying to spread it out from the center in puffs. So you'll see me just kind of puffing it out, puffing it out, and just getting it to spread. I don't need it to go very far because once I spin it, it's all going to spread over the edges anyway. So yeah, a little different technique for the size. And, um, you know, for each thing you do, you have to adjust how you do things. Every pour is different, and I've said that probably a hundred times. All right. Oh, Lord. God, I hope I can keep it like this. That is gorgeous. Still got to get it all the way around the edges. Whoops. I don't have all my edges covered here.
I do not know how I'm going to lay that so it's flat. I might have a big mess tomorrow. But it's beautiful right now. <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh, shoof. Yes. I'm going to stop with that. So here this one is. I'm going to make a match, hopefully next. So everyone, that's a wrap. Here is this first one that we just created, and here is the second one that I created right afterward. So I hope you enjoyed this creation video. I'm going to have a short video from the inside and then a video taken outside. The cool thing about this jar lid, like I mentioned in the video, is that once you find a color combination you really like, these are so easy to pour on and a great way to use up some of the extra paint you might have. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, hit the bell and all, you'll get all my latest art tutorials. Leave a comment and a thumbs up would be really appreciated too. So at the very end of this video, I'm going to link my Bloom Creation playlist for my coasters so you can see other color combinations and other results. And just so you know, all of my creations are available for purchase. So for now, I'm going to sign off and everybody take care. Till next time.